Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to OVGuide.com's Big Bash with your hosts, Tom Gregory and Chad Cooper. Hey, what's buzzing, cousin? Hey, did you get that video we made posted yet? Come on, I got a whole room full of partiers out there. Done. Check it out. Hi, I'm Chad Cooper from OVGuide. I can't hear it. I can't see it either. There's got to be a better way. How to connect your laptop to your television. Who is that guy? What was that? Hello, and welcome to Video Jug. I thought you said you had a spam blocker on there. I do. Sure, watching video on your computer is super convenient, but it can also be super small. We'll show you how to watch web video on your big screen TV. Here's how. You will need a PC or Mac laptop computer, a digital TV, analog won't cut it, a VGA 15-pin connector cable, or an S-video cable and mini to RCA audio cable, or a wireless converter. Step 1. Double your display. Make sure your laptop supports multiple displays. Right, because basically what we're doing is we're turning our TV into a second computer display. Double displays! Double the fun! I love that! Uh, yes, adjust the display settings in your PC control panels or Apple system preferences. But how do I know my computer supports this double display thing? If you have a Mac laptop, you're in luck, because basically every Mac laptop within the last 10 years is capable of it. If you have a PC laptop, you have to make sure you have either a VGA output or an S-Video output. Step 2. The VGA Way Use a 15-pin male-to-male VGA cable to connect your laptop to your TV. The way you'll know it's male is you'll see all these pins sticking out, and what you'll need to do is find the female connection on your laptop and your TV. I can just pop that in right here. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But be careful. It's recommended that you do this with everything powered off. There. But uh, my Mac came with this uh, dongle. Right, Macs come with dongles because they have digital output. So what we need to do is take that digital output and turn it into VGA. Simply find the digital output connector on your Mac and then plug the male to female right into the VGA connection. So this dongle thing is really just an adapter so you can plug a VGA into your Mac. Good point. Now, connect one end into the TV and one end into the PC. Now that we have all our connections in place, it's time to actually get the display onto the television. Change the source or input to VGA. You did it, great! But what if you don't have that fancy VGA cable? Step three, go S-Video. Instead of a VGA cable, you can also use an S-Video cable. Whatever, Mr. Voice. S-Video is pretty simple. You connect one end to your television, the other end into your laptop. Okay, with S-Video we have video, but what's this for? That's the audio cable. Plug the mini end into your laptop and the red and white into the TV to get better sound than your tiny laptop speakers. And we just change the source or input to S-Video. And that's how you connect your laptop to your television. No, 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 not so fast, Mr. Voice. How about wireless? Oh? Step four. Go wireless. And that's the cool one, huh? Absolutely. What you're gonna need is a wireless converter like this PC to TV device from AdLogix. What you do is you install the VGA connection from the back of this device to the back of the TV like we did before. Install some software on your laptop and you're ready to roll. Good one, guys. Now, may I? Step five, big screen browsing. If you're mirroring, meaning your TV screen is identical to your laptop screen, Go ahead and use your computer to navigate your way online. However, there's another way of doing this. Another way? I know. Extending your desktop. Basically, what you do is you're creating two different displays. So you'll be able to drag things from one over to the other, yet you'll still be able to operate on this one. We can hop on to video jug on the other one. Now, your desktop spreads across two screens, enlarging your workspace. So, your laptop is like a $2,000 remote for your TV. Thanks, Mr. VoiceOver dude, for that one. Well, I couldn't have done it without the two of you. The wireless idea was pretty awesome. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, enough of this mushy stuff, you two. Let's get on with a party. Right. 
Just click onto your chosen video and let's go big screen. Hello, and welcome to Video Jug. Who is that guy? What was that? Oh, daddy-o, that's us! Done! Done.